my TBR is very, very ambitious. Would I be able to read all of those books? I think I can. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and today I'm doing my 72 flight of on TBR. I'm so, so excited for the read -a Like, I'm crazy, crazy excited. I can't wait for the read -a to actually start. And when I tried to pick my TBR, let's say that I wanted to include everything. So my TBR today is very big and very ambitious. It's actually bigger than my desert on TBR, which is funny because this is a 72 hours read -a and the desert on is a month long read -a But I'm just so, so, so excited for this read -a It's going to be so much fun. In case you didn't see my last video, my desert on TBR, I say there that from now I'm going to do my TBR videos here in my TBR shelf. But yes, let's start packing books. The first point for my team, the haunted team, is supernatural, a story with a supernatural element. And for this prompt, I'm going to read my first ever Stephen King book, and I'm so excited. This is perfect for a horror readathon. And this book is scary by, of course, Stephen King. A lot of different people recommend different Stephen King books to start with, but I saw in a few places that Kerry, because this is his first book, is a good place to start. And I actually never saw the movie, so I don't know the plot, like, at all. And I love not knowing the plot. And this is a very short book. I'm reading it in the Hebrew translated edition, which is really good because I read books in Hebrew really fast. And in this edition, there is 218 pages. And this isn't a lot of pages. So this is perfect for a 72 hours readathon. And yes, Stephen King book for a whole readathon and a short Stephen King book would perfect. So the next prompt is scary. Something that scares you. And of course, that I'm going to read a book from John G. Ito, the king of horror manga, and I'm going to read Uzumaki, and I'm so, so excited. Now, like you can see, this is like a huge book. It has more than 600 pages, I think. Yes, more, but this is a manga, so although this is a very, very long, it's still a manga. It's not supposed to take long to read. Now, I read two books from John G. Ito before, and those two books were Venus in the Blind Spot and Fragments of Horror, and both of those books are short story collections. But from what I know, this book is like one big story, so I'm really, really excited to read it because I'm not really a fan of short stories usually. I do prefer one big story, and I never read one big story from John G. Ito, so I'm so excited to read it. And like, John G. Ito writes scary stuff. His work is terrifying. So I feel like this is very suitable for the scary prompt. And yes, I'm just so, so excited to read it. Like, I really want to read it now, but I'm going to keep it for the read of one, and I'm so, so excited. So yes, this is the second book for the prompt scary. Now, the next prompt is a family secret, and I actually have two books which are perfect, perfect for this prompt. The first one is Max Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And the second one is Born Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. Mexican Gothic is an historical fiction that takes place in Mexico, which is so, so cool. And the main character is getting a letter or a call from her cousin or something like this. And her cousin needs help. And there is like a mystery or a secret or something like this. And also in Born Our Bodies Down, there is a family secret because the main character lived with her mom her whole life, but she wants more answers about her family. So she's going where her mother grew at. So like, yes, those two books are perfect for this prompt. And I'm not going to choose which one of them I want to read because I'm a mood reader and I'm positive that I will stick to the other books on my 72 Friday from TBR because those books are all short or mangas slash graphic novels because there is more books except the ones that I already talked about. But I want to keep a little bit of choice and like to pick one of them based on my mood, especially because those are the longest books on my TBR for the readathon. Mexican Gothic has 300 pages and Born Our Bodies Down has a little bit over 300 pages, but Mexican Gothic is like more big of a book and in Born Our Bodies Down, the words more spaced out. So overall, this book is longer and also this is an historical fiction, so maybe it will be harder to read, but both of them are pretty close to each other. So I'm just going to choose one of them based based on my mood in the actual readathon, but I'm really excited to read both of them. Maybe I will even read one of them before the readathon, and then the other one will be automatically the book that I will read for the readathon. But yes, I'm really, really excited about them. So those 
books were the books for the three prompts for my team. I have also the whole book prompt, but I can choose like any book that I want for this prompt. So I'm just going to continue on my TBR because yes, I have more than three books on my TBR. Like I say, this is a very ambitious TBR, but I really, really want to read all of them. The next book is Watch Over Me by Nina Lacour. And this book is tiny. This is like a very tiny book. And also it has a little bit over 200 pages. So it's also really tiny. And the letters aren't small or something like this. They're like regular size. So this is a tiny book. And this is about a woman who gets a new job and she is going to live in the middle of nowhere for this job, a teaching job. So she is going to teach in the middle of nowhere and the house that she is going to is going to be weird. It's maybe a haunted house story. I'm not really sure. I heard in a few places that this book isn't full on horror because maybe the things that she's seen in the new house are everything inside the head of the main character, but I'm not sure. In Goodreads, this book is categorized as a horror book, so I'm going to go with this one because I'm also really excited to read it. And like, I think this is a supernatural, so it's also really fitting for my team, the haunted team. So yes, a tiny book, another book that is perfect for a reader fun. Now, the last book isn't a horror book. It's actually a middle grade book or a YA book, I'm not sure. But this is Sheets by Brenna Tumblr. Now, this is a graphic novel. So yes, this isn't horror at all, but this graphic novel is following a ghost. So I'm not going to count this graphic novel as any poem. I'm just going to read it for the fun and to break up a little bit the horror and to read something a little bit funnier. This graphic novel is like on my TBR shelf for a while. And I think this is like the perfect opportunity to read it because this is a graphic novel about a ghost. So yes, like I'm squeezing in one book that isn't a horror, but that's okay. Like this is still in the spooky, scary thing because this is about a ghost. And yes, I'm actually really excited to read it. Like I love, love graphic novels and I hold really good things about this graphic novel. So hopefully I will enjoy it. So this is my TBR. Almost my TBR because I have Born Our Bodies Down and Mexican Gothic. And like I said, I would read only one of them because I just can't read all of this in 72 hours. But this is the pile minus one book. I don't know which one. Like I said, this is a very, very ambitious TBR. But like, again, two of those are mangas slash graphic novels, which are really easy to read. And Watch Over Me and Carrie, also really short. So I'm pretty positive that I can finish this TBR in 72 hours. I'm just so, so, so excited for the readathon and I already want to read all of them. And I also really want to see your TBR. So if you want to make a TBR video, please do it. I really want to see what you're going to read. And if you are not following our Twitter or you didn't join our Discord server, everything will be in the video description. We are going to be very active in both platforms. And of course, don't forget, we have a lot, a lot of live reading sprints. Of course, also mine and also Danny's announcement video will be in the description if you didn't check them out. I'm uploading two times a week on Sundays and Wednesdays. But until the next video, you can check more videos by me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited for this readathon and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!